What's up guys, it's Carl with a C here and today I've got a little tutorial for you guys for those of you who are having issues starting up Battlefield 4. Uh, now I myself was having a lot of issues with this. I just bought Battlefield 4 and I've actually never even used Origin before and I was really disappointed because it just was not working and I was getting an error code and I was really pissed off. So um, I searched online. There isn't much help online for this issue that I could find. Um, you can't even you can't even see EA's help pages on the subject without signing into Origin, which is stupid. Um, and apparently, a lot of the people at EA don't even know how to fix this themselves. So don't even bother contacting EA about this. Watch this video first, and then if it doesn't work, then contact EA because. Um, from what I've heard online, they are just not helpful with this issue. Um, and here, I'll, I'll just go into, I'll just get into it right now. What you're going to want to do is open up Origin. Oh, I have it open already. And what happens is, when you go to play Battlefield, you will get, hang on a second here, uh, you'll get an, an error message. I'm just going to go in test range because... Uh, well, it doesn't really matter what you go into, you'll get the same error. And it goes to launching, says initializing, we're sorry an error has occurred. Um, this is the error code, uh, 0x7e, uh, missing DLL. Um, I don't know, that's gibberish to me, but um, that was that's the problem. So, if this is happening to you, um, it may not even be the exact same error code. It may be something else, it could be but it could be the same problem. So what I did uh, was close origin, first of all, because you're gonna be messing with files that have to do with origin. Make sure you actually fully exit origin by doing that, uh, or opening that file. And um, then you're gonna wanna open Windows Explorer. You're gonna want to go into your home folder. Your, for me, it's my C drive and go into program files x86 if you're on 64-bit if you're on 32-bit it'll be in this program files but for me it's here uh, look for origin but not origin origin games um, that's important then open battlefield 4 installer vc vc 2012 update 3 this folder may be different for you but this is what it is for me um, then R-E-D-I-S-T, double click that, and then you'll have these two folders here. For me, what worked was double clicking here and agreeing to terms and conditions and hitting install on here. And that is what fixed it for me. Uh, this is just gonna take a second, it's gonna install. And almost done. There we go. Okay, setup successful. That's what you should get. If you don't get that, then I don't know what to do. But now, that should be it. Let's open up Origin again. This is what fixed it for me. If, if it doesn't work now, uh, what I would do is restart your PC and then try again. I'm just going to open up Origin and we'll see if it works. Let's... Uh, what am I doing? Battlefield 4. My games. Double click on Battlefield 4, and it should open. Come on, please. My goodness, come on. All right, here we go. It's opening twice because it's dumb. Then we're going to go to test range, play now, launching. Let's see if we get the error message now. This should work, initializing. And there we have a pop-up, Battlefield 4. I'm going to click on that. And it looks to be working. There it is, test range. The game is starting up now. And problem solved. Great success. So anyways, guys, if this tutorial helped you out, which I really hope it did, uh, then leave a like, please. Uh, subscribe for more videos. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. This has been Carl with a C. Peace.